we can take a look at all the different stuff that we have within uh, the space that we currently have. But within the space, we go in and we go into a larger space that is going to be connected to a bunch of different time wardens, a bunch of different forges, and a bunch of different armories. But the one important thing that we're here for at the moment right now is going to be getting you onto the leaderboard. To get onto the leaderboard, besides doing prestige dungeons, which are the gold dungeons that you find around the area, it's going to be crafting in the armories or in the forges. When you go over into the armory, for example, here, we're going to go ahead and interact. And what we're going to be able to see is we can craft a bunch of different items here. We can refine and level up. Basically, the more you use the uh, the armory, the more XP points that the armory gets. And then when you level up, you're also going to be able to have a faster crafting time for yourself. What we've been doing recently is just refining the raw terracor that we get from the dungeons into the augmented terracor, which we can then use to create some nice cosmetic items for ourselves. So for example, I don't have any head cosmetic items. The uncommon will require us to also have three of the regular onyx throne heads, which we do not currently have. So let's try to make this. It'll cost 50 big time tokens as well as 25 augmented terracore. So clicking on the craft item here will then allow us to have a bonus roll. We get these little workshop mod chips from doing dungeons. And with these, you're able to roll this to give you some extra additional bonuses for your uh, cosmetic item. So with this one right here, we're going to have it be 5% faster. And we're also going to get 50% extra experience from the craft itself happening. I personally don't like that that much. So let's try and reroll for something better. And for this one, we're going to get 25% less of the cosmetic shards that's going to use as well as giving us 50% extra experience. So we're going to just try rerolling over and over again. I like the 25% faster. So we're going to click on this. This locks this in for us. So now this will only spin the right side here. It does cost a little bit more. We didn't get anything better, better than that, but we'll now go and, and have a 30% faster time for it. So instead of 24 hours, it's going to take 16 hours and 27 minutes for us. Now, with this happening, we are going to get some points up on the leaderboard, which is going to be able to allow us to get an airdrop of the big time token at the end of the month. The next way, and one thing that you guys are probably all wanting to, uh, to know about is, hey, how can I make money on big time? In the Time Wardens, you're going to be able to have hourglasses that you can craft. Every single person is going to have one hourglass slot only, and then they're going to have to unlock the other hourglass slots for themselves. So, I, for example, have three hourglass slots unlocked. The first one that I unlocked for myself cost me 1500 and then the one after that cost me 2500 in Time Crystals. If you're wondering about how to get yourself Time Crystals, you can get Time Crystals from completing dungeons, or you can just go ahead and buy them in the shop, which will bring you straight to the open loot marketplace where you can buy them from. When you have the hourglasses equipped, you're going to be able to see how much time you have on each specific one. If you're going to have hourglasses with time on them, only use those hourglasses during times that you are in the dungeon to be able to get the big time token or else you're kind of just wasting the time of the, uh, the hourglasses. The other way is going to be just crafting the hourglasses by going up to the time board in here, interacting with them, clicking on craft item where it's going to cost us 150 time crystals. If we hit craft item, we're going to be faced with the same exact page as the other crafting. And we're going to have the ability to give us 60 minutes more on it, do 25% faster, whatever else it might be to make the process a little bit easier. Because as we know, it is going to take 24 hours for our item to be ready to be used. And that is a decent amount of time. The other thing that you can do is if you do have hourglasses, is if they run out of time or if they're low on time, is to be able to drag them over into here and to recharge them. Recharging for two hours of dungeon playtime will you know, be one hourglass that's going to cost you as well as the 50 time crystals that you're going to use. And then you're also going to have to go through 12 hours of wait time. You can also do this with having to wait 60 hours for 12 hours of game time and then also waiting 192 hours for 48 hours of game time. So we're going to go ahead and do a recharge here for two hours. And with the recharge, you can see we don't have enough workshop mod chips to be able to do a bonus roll on it, but we do have enough time crystals to be able to hit continue here and have this start up. Then what you'll notice is that you'll also be faced with the ability to speed up the process if you'd like. So instead of waiting 12 hours, I can speed up the process with 716 time crystals, click continue, and my crafting is now finished. Now I have an hourglass with two hours of playtime on it available for me. And we can see that right over here. We also have another one here that has zero hours of playtime. And what we can do again is recharge this item. Or what you can do is rather than crafting and recharging is just go ahead and craft. And when you are done crafting is going over to the open loot website. And this is where you're going to start making your money and being able to sell these hourglasses that you're crafting. 